I am aware of the torrent of hateful posts on the social media. I think that is the biggest culprit which is afflicting the unity of our country. Our successes in various wars we have fought, especially 1971, was largely due to the unity and diversity of our country. Caste, color, creed, sex, domicile, and religion meant nothing to the soldier when it comes to comradery. Comradery means izzat of the regiment one serves in and the izzat of the country. I was also vice chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University. Why is the name anathema to a large number of us? Isn't there a Banaras Hindu University? Isn't there a Hindu college? Isn't there a Khalsa college, a St. Stephen's? Ladies and gentlemen, all these names are tributes to diversity of our country. You may have a mistaken impression that Aligarh Muslim University is a glorified madrasa. Let me assure you, it is not. It is a modern secular university. I was asked, why is the proportion of Muslims more in AMU than other universities? My reply was that major departments like Urdu, Farsi, Arabic, Quranic studies, Yunani medicine are only sought for by Muslims. I wish there were more applicants for these uh, very, very important departments. The only opties are Muslims. Students there, when I took over, certainly harbored a feeling that in the job market, they would be discriminated against. I put their minds at rest, quoting the example of three of two other siblings of mine, and I told them, I always stressed, discrimination is embedded in human nature. But I also asked, who's being discriminated against? They said, us. I said, no, it is the less educated. And ladies and gentlemen, I am being no hypocrite. Discrimination is only against the less educated. The silver lining is that the Muslim community, especially the girls, have taken to education in a very big way. I was also asked what makes India unique. India is unique because it is a salad bone nation. Salad bowl nation. I'll just explain what it is. It is a nation where one's individual identity, culture, language, you can hold on and not forsake like you have to do in a melting pot nation like America. You can, if you want to be accepted, ideal is to marry an Anglo-Saxon or somebody like that. In a salad bowl nation, which is our country, you can identify the carrot from the cucumber, from the lettuce and the olives. We all are together in the salad bowl, all identifiable and all making it very, very palatable. If an attempt is made to churn up the salad, would it be palatable? I can certainly say not. It would be unpalatable. I will end with some words for all of you to mull over. Always remember, we are Team India. Diversity embellishes the idea of India. Diversity does not 
imply division. It is a glue. It makes India incredible. We are unique. Incredible India is invincible India when it is Team India. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.